Ino can overwhelm the opponent with her unique hover dash. Take their breath away with her high-paced offense. Antidepressant scale. A projectile attack that has slow startup, but the number of hits increases as time passes. By inputting the up or down directional button, you can change the projectile trajectory, allowing you to home it on the opponent. Use this after a sweep or throw for it to hit as a media attack on the opponent's wake up. Chemical Love A projectile that strikes forward. Its long reach makes it a good poke at mid-range. Since it hits high, it is weak against opponents keeping a low profile. Stroke the Victory A low attack where Eno lunges forward. The Slash and Heavy Slash versions have different reaches. You can use this move to evade high profile attacks while attacking. The Heavy Slash version leaves Eno at advantage when blocked, making it a chance to start your offense. Sultry Performance A lunging attack with different trajectories depending on the button pressed. Pressing the button at the moment on hit or block will change the trajectory of Eno to leap forward. Holding the button down until the end of the move boosts its attack properties. Megalomania An extremely damaging command grab. Although it can't be blocked, it will whiff unless you are very close to the opponent. Eno launches a sea of projectiles forward when you attack this. Ultimate Fortissimo a move where Eno leaps in the air and unleashes a powerful projectile attack around her. The startup of this move is invincible and will cause an area shift on hit in the corner. In the aerial version of this move, Eno unleashes the projectile immediately, and there is no invincibility during the startup. She can start her incredibly strong offense with her hover dash. Get close enough to launch her fierce offense using her maneuverable projectile antidepressant scale and her long-range poke, Chemical Love. She can distract the opponent with Stroke the Big Tree, which evades high-hitting attacks, as well as her highly aggressive attack, Sultry Performance. Using Megalomania to deal major damage to the opponent when they're focused on blocking. Thank you for watching.
Uh, so first up, we're going to be covering Eno, one of the returning characters from the Exert series. So for those of you who played Eno before, you know that she's a character who thrives on air mobility. Rather than a traditional dash that moves her along the ground, Eno's dash sends her airborne. So she has really good air normals, great air mobility, um, and some of the best mix-up in the game. It can be a little bit hard to approach with her dash since it forces her to be vulnerable while she's traveling, but it gives her uh, access to extremely fast overheads and lows, lots and lots of great mix-up tools. So for her special moves, it's really how she gets in on the opponent because she lacks the ground game that some of the other characters have. So you're going to be relying on these special moves to lock your opponent down in place, make them block, and then it's your turn to go in on the offensive. So one of her best tools in neutral to cover horizontal space is Chemical Love, which is done with core circle back and kick. So Chemical Love is a long range projectile that covers a ton of horizontal space. It's a really versatile move in that you can use it as a poke at mid to long range. You can use it as a combo ender to cause a hard knockdown, or a soft knockdown rather. So you're gonna be seeing this move a lot, uh, both in neutral and in combos. You can also do it in the air as well for air to air attacks. Uh, another horizontal move that Eno has to get on the opponent is Stroke the Big Tree, which is done by doing half circle forward and slash or heavy slash. So this move sends Eno very low to the ground as she travels forward. So it's a great move to avoid the opponent's high attacks since you'll be able to go underneath them. The slash version goes a little bit shorter distance than the heavy slash version, and they both have different advantages on block. So this is a great move to use mid block string to sort of reset your pressure or in neutral when you think the opponent's going to throw out a high hitting attack that you want to evade and get in. You can go in on the offensive by using stroke to uh, She also has antidepressant scale or as most people call it just the note which is a uh, quarter circle back and punch. So Eno will summon a note from her hat that travels across the screen and the further it goes the more hits it does. So if you're up close the note only does one hit but if you're full screen, it can do up to five. Uh, another one of Eno's biggest tools in neutral, since she can control the angle at which the note comes out at. If you hold up on the stick as the note comes out, it'll go up. You can hold it to make it go down as well, or even alter its trajectory mid-flight using these inputs. So it's a great move for cutting off your opponent's options, right? You can send it upwards, and now they can't jump anymore. They have to stay grounded. Or you can send it along the ground to force them to block, which lets you go in and do pressure. So moving into Eno's air options, uh, you might have noticed already that she does not have the same kind of air dash as the other characters in the cast. She does not have the sort of slow uh, startup air dash where you have the sigil behind her. She instantly does a down float dash, which is super oppressive, uh, great for movement and mobility and mix-ups. She also has special moves in the air that can also alter her trajectory. So she has Sultry Performance, which is her dive kick Danger. that has three different variations, all at different angles. Danger. So if you do core circle forward and kick, she'll go down at a pretty steep angle. Slash sends you at about a 45 degree angle, and Heavy Slash sends you completely horizontally. So you can use these uh, on offense to mix up your opponent, alter her air trajectory as you're approaching, and each version also has different properties on hit. So the kick one will leave them on the ground. The slash causes a soft knockdown, and then the heavy slash will pop them up into the air. If uh, you watched her trailer very carefully, she also has follow-ups off of Soul Performance, where if you press the same button you used for the dive kick, she can hop cancel on hit, which gives her access to some really dirty mix-ups, since you can basically extend your, your jump pressure by one more move. It gives her a ton of options in the air, and you really have to be on the, the lookout when you're on defense against this character on when she's going to land, since at any point she can stop, go low, or mix you up and go high again with one of her delayed aerial attacks like Jumping Dust, and go for even more offensive pressure. As for her supers, um, there was a little bit of discourse about how the super works in the trailer, since it's a little bit different from previous games. So. Ultimate Fortissimo is one of the supers you saw in her trailer. So you'll recognize that move if you've played Eno in previous games. Uh, there are two different versions of the super now. There's an aerial version that starts up instant instantly. And there's also a ground version, which is a reversal. 
So while the ground version takes longer to start up, the animation where she's flying up into the air with the kick is actually invincible. So you can use it on Wake Up uh, as a reversal get off me sort of tool. Or you can use it in the air to sort of pressure your opponent. Uh, she also has one more super that you saw in the uh, trailer, but unfortunately it is not finished yet, so we can't show it off to you guys just yet. You'll have to wait a little bit longer for more footage of her. But she is familiar to Eno players from the days of old. A lot of her tools are going to be the same. You're going to see a lot of sweep into note, into overhead pressure. Um, but she also has been translated into the Strive engine where uh, her mobility is, is a little bit different. She has some new tricky mix-ups that she can use. Lots of really fun stuff with this character. I think people are going to have a really fun time playing her. Uh, so I'm going to swap over to Anji and we can show off his moveset as well. 